sports fans? Welcome to the Sports Genie, the channel where we discuss the latest news and stories from the world of football, basketball, and baseball. On today's video we're gonna discuss the quarterbacks who had bad seasons this year. But before we do, hit that like button. We wanna get 500 likes on this video. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button so you can get all our great sports content. By our count, more than half the QBs in the league had a down year. Some performances were so bad that some QBs may not have jobs next season. But it was surprising to see how many established veterans struggled this year. Which veteran QB do you think had the most disappointing season? Leave your pick in the comments. Out of the 10 or so veterans that had disappointing seasons, none struggled more than Russell Wilson. He may have had the biggest drop-off of any QB on our list. In 15 games he only managed to break 300 passing yards in two games. Threw only 16 TDs and 11 interceptions. Was 27th in the league in QBR. And led the Broncos to just 16.9 points per game. Which was dead last. All this. And he's the second highest paid QB. The only reason he kept his job is because the Broncos gave up so much to get him and then extended his contract. But his performance got his head coach fired. His horrible play on the field, mixed with his arrogance and perks he got off the field, caused him to fall out of favor with his teammates. Tom Brady also had a disappointing year. He had only two good games all season and he looked like it was time to retire. Same for Aaron Rodgers. He couldn't even manage to get his team to the playoffs. His accuracy was the worst I've seen from him. He threw the second most interceptions in his career. And he looked horrible in losses to teams like the Jets, the Commanders, and the Lions. Rodgers had not one game with 300 or more passing yards. After a season like that, he has the audacity to keep his team in limbo on whether or not he's gonna play next year? I say, good riddance, if he doesn't retire, the Packers should trade him. And after winning the Super Bowl last season, Matthew Stafford struggled this season. He looked like the Stafford from the Lions. Although he was injured and played just nine games, he looked bad before the injury. Dak Prescott and Derek Carr are two vets that also struggled this year. Their seasons weren't the worst of the bunch, but their lack of consistency caused a stir with their prospective fan bases. The Raiders decided they had seen enough and cut Carr after the season concluded. Both Carr and Prescott were middle-of-the-road QBs, but Carr had a losing record at 6-9. His career record is 63-79. and 79. New head coach Josh McDaniels was on the chopping block for the team's poor performance and he knew it was Carr? or him. Being scapegoated was a crappy deal for Carr, but after nine years in the league, I think he showed he was never gonna get the Raiders to the Super Bowl. Dak's season was all over the place. At times, he looked like a top five quarterback. At times, he looked like a bottom five quarterback. Thus, he was dubbed Mr. Inconsistent. He also missed five games due to injury. Even missing five games, he led the league in interceptions. He had an interception in all but two games. Dak had just won 300-yard regular season passing game. I don't think it would be unfair to say the Cowboys didn't go further in the playoffs because of Dak. Although Dak has a career record of 61 and 36, it doesn't seem like he is capable of getting past the second round of the playoffs. Dak is a slightly above-average quarterback who will choke at the most inopportune time. And due to his contract, the Cowboys are pretty much stuck with him. I like the Cowboys and Dak. I hope he can find a way to get over the hump next season. If he has another bad season, the Cowboys may just cut their losses and move on. The next three guys we'll discuss are my candidates for most likely to be out of the league next season. They are Carson Wentz, Matt Ryan, and Marcus Mariota. Each were on second and third chances in the league. They were all benched at various points through the season. I don't know what happened to Carson Wentz, but after his first two seasons in Philly, he has been awful. He was traded to the Colts where he almost single-handedly cost them their season. He was then traded to the Commanders last season where he managed a 2-6 and six record. He threw 11 touchdowns to 9 interceptions. I would be surprised if he played another down for the Commanders. It's ironic that Matt Ryan was the replacement for Carson Wentz in Indianapolis. Let's just say, he was not an upgrade. In just 12 games he threw 14 touchdowns and a whopping 13 interceptions. I think it was clear that Matt Ryan should have probably retired. He's had a decent career earning an MVP and a Super Bowl appearance in 2016. And a career win-loss record of 124, 109, and 1. 
That brings us to Marcus Mariota. In 13 games, he threw just 15 touchdowns and 9 interceptions. Only 200 yards passing with a 5-8 record. After eight years in the league with the Titans, Raiders, and the Falcons, and a career record of 42 and 45, he's proven that he's nothing more than an adequate backup. These next group of guys have only been in the league five years or less, but are struggling for various reasons. Let's start with Baker Mayfield. He is a Heisman Trophy winner and a number one overall draft pick and he's either gonna be a backup to Matthew Stafford or possibly out of the league. So, what happened? Well, this season, he could not put two good games in a row together. His arrogant attitude and lack of consistency rubbed Cleveland the wrong way, and they let him go after upgrading to Deshaun Watson. But it ended ugly. He went to Carolina where it was thought he was an upgrade to Sam Darnold and that he would save their season. He wasn't. He didn't. He didn't last long in Carolina before being traded to the Rams where he had one good game. Up next? Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson has been absolutely horrible for the Jets. And apparently everybody knows it but him. In a post-game conference, he was asked if his stagnant offense was letting down the defense and he immediately said no. This infuriated the team and he was benched. He did eventually get another chance to start, and he stunk it up. The Jets are currently looking to land Derek Carr or Aaron Rodgers this offseason. One thing is clear. They have no confidence in Zach Wilson. Next is Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray definitely regressed since the 2021 season. His season was shortened due to injury, which seems to be a reoccurring theme with him, but he was not playing well before the injury. He got a big contract extension that he let go to his head, and he has not lived up to it. Next is Mac Jones. He definitely experienced a sophomore slump, but I put a lot of the blame on the Patriots. The head coach Bill Belichick decided to let Matt Patricia call the plays. The problem with that is, Matt Patricia is a defensive coach and has never coached an offense a day in his life. This definitely contributed to Mac Jones' struggles. Matt Patricia will not be calling plays next season. Hopefully Mac Jones will have a better season. I think this guy is a playoff caliber QB with the right coaching and some better receivers. Next is Davis Mills. He played for the Texans. Nuff said. How do you evaluate him when he played in that dumpster fire? They won just three games all year and lost every single home game. Their offense was ranked 30th, their defense was ranked 27th, even though Mills had only 17 touchdowns to 15 interceptions. I'm giving him a pass. Don't get me wrong. I don't think he's the answer to anyone's prayers, but you have to wait until a new head coach starts and they give him better surrounding pieces. Up next is Sam Darnold. Can we just go ahead and call him a bust? Sam Darnold is a first-round pick and in five seasons he has a 21-35 and 35 record for two teams. He only played in six games last season and he was not injured. What does that tell you? I think he'll be a backup going forward. Maybe even out of the league. But hey. There is always the XFL and USFL. And before we go I have to give Justin Fields a dishonorable mention. He was having a rough year until he really took off in rushing. Ultimately injury derailed him but at least he goes into next season with some optimism. Well. That's all for now. Which quarterback do you think struggled the most last season? And which QB do you think will bounce back next season? Tell us in the comments below. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Until the next video, we are back in the lamp.